Yeah, come on, let's yeah. clap. Get the TPP. Yeah. Fast track. Yeah. Fast track to tyranny. Damn right, it's a good Thank deal. So Captain Gatch, a good deal, Larry. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Vice President, members of Congress, fellow criminals, my fellow Americans. Let's get this party started. We're going to gut this hog and move to Switzerland. Today in America, <laughs> we're going to do what we did in Mexico 20 years ago. We're going to loot it. Spend extra time with a student who needed it. Yeah, con us to be better did slaves, work more. To lift America's graduation rate to its highest levels since you lowered the standards. Three decades. <laughs> Total <laughs> cooked BS. Lowest an entrepreneur IQ. flipped on the lights in her tech startup. I thought they didn't melt it. Did her part. You got a business. You didn't build that. More than 8 million new jobs our businesses have created. Somebody else did that. Remember fallen comrades. Oh. And give thanks for being. What, our, our troops fighting for Al-Qaeda against Syria? is finally coming to an end. Mohammed Karzai exposes it's, oh, it's our own government staging bombings. Now, what about the Muslim Brotherhood coming in past the TSA? And he didn't mention anything about that. That's right. The Muslim Brotherhood's exempt. The lowest unemployment rate in over five years. <laughs> <What? laughs> he's, ah, uh, he's been in seven. They cooked those. Oh, oh my God! Doubling the black unemployment the first rate time since the 1990s. Oh my God! More oil they lowered produced. it because they took people off of the register because they haven't had a job for so long. Yeah, yeah, that's what they do. It's a total scam. Yeah. Real unemployment is 36 yeah. percent. That's right. 36, 37. Yeah. China is no longer the world's number one place to invest. <laughs> America is. Yeah, you lowered mean? the wages so much, we got more slaves than they do. Yeah. Invested on They're your They're standing up again. Okay. All right. Oh, I hadn't heard that report. Yeah, I know. Had you heard it's that not report? true. Everything's going to China. <laughs> After five years of grit and determined effort, the United States is better positioned Grit for the 21st century. and determined effort. Any other nation now he's John Wayne. Well, rebuilding the trust. Don't you trust him? Yes, I do, Alex, as a matter of fact. I'm glad you brought that up. I trust him to take my rights away. He's declaring economic victory because he's got a bunch of metrics that the government manufactures that have absolutely nothing to do with the reality. Oh, yeah, they say we're not in a depression. All the real economists say we've been in a depression since Bush. Regardless of race or region or party. Young he says regardless of race when all his operatives create race baiting and say the NRA is run by the Klan. When his party is on record the party of the Klan. I mean, let's just be honest. But he thinks people are so dumb, and I guess they are, they don't know they got freaked out by Eisenhower and the Civil Rights Act in 1961 or 1960, so they flip the script. Absolutely. We know now that he really was Joe Wilson. He said, you lie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we know now that he is. He was lying. That's four years ago. And we know that uh, his saying that they weren't going to force people to pay for abortions and their medical coverage if it was against their religion. We know that's a lie. Said that right after it. He said, I'm not coming after any of your guns. Not your rifle, your hand, your shotgun. You can keep your doctor. It's going to cut your bill down to the price of a cable mm -hmm. bill. Uh, you know, we're going to shut down Guantanamo. And we're not going to hire any lobbyists. But I'll act on my own. To slash bureaucracy Here we go. and streamline the yeah. permitting process Here we for go. the project. So we can get more construction workers act on, on my the own. job as Remember fast how as he possible. said, Jakari, I'll never act alone as unconstitutional? Mm -hmm. And he said, I don't want to act alone, but you want me to? For six years, he's been selling. I don't want to act alone, but it would sure we fix things. Over the past five years, my administration has made more no, people loans are, to small business people owners are seeing through than any other. You know why? Because we had the Small Business Bureau head on. They call billionaire corporations small business now, yeah. including offshore. Yeah. Like you said, they change all the definitions, right. they change all the metrics, they game it with computers. By law, they're supposed to have certain set asides for small businesses, and yet they're giving them to the largest corporations. They're getting the biggest contracts. And then he says, the small I've given record business. amounts to small businesses. Yeah, so, right. Because they game the computer. Right. Did research help lead to the ideas and inventions behind Google and smartphones. Yeah. That's how you control it, the NSA. <laughs> nice, nice prism, yeah. You didn't build that. Last year's cuts to basic research. Yeah. So we can Eisenhower warned of the military-industrial complex dominating technology so they could selectively give it to insiders. Here he is 50 years later. Biggest factors in bringing more jobs back is our commitment to You know, American everything energy. was paid for, like a Super Bowl the ad above with donors. This is all paid for. In fact, that's the angle. This has come out before, but nobody covers America it. Every line has been paid for by special and interests. We Five years ago, we set out to change the odds for all our kids. Hmm. We worked with lenders to reform student loans, and today more... <laughs> 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 yeah. They've actually oh, increased them over all. It's like the housing deal where they screwed everybody yeah. with a new deal on that and 20 million students over the next two years without adding a dime to the deficit. Storing everything at the NSA's data center in Utah. Governor, 
state legislator in America, I say, you don't have to wait for Congress to act. Right. Americans will support you if you take this on. And as a chief executive, I intend to lead by example. Oh, I've seen the courage of parents, students, pastors, police officers all over this country who say, we are not afraid. And I intend to keep trying, with or without Congress, to help stop yeah. Yeah. more tragedies from visiting innocent Americans See? in our he movie theaters, you. He connected open malls, borders to get our guns. Like Sandy Hook. They are teaching them to, to vote and take our guns. While he goes down to Mexico and says the Mexican drug violence is because of the U.S. Second Amendment, even though he's running guns down there with Operation Fast and Furious. To blame the right. Second Amendment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was only highlights. If you'd like to see the full thing, you can go to prisonplanet.tv and watch the full thing in the special reports section. Now that's it for this section, but stay tuned because right after this break, Gerald Salente was on the Alex Jones radio show today and he was talking about Michael Grimm, the bully politician who intimidated a journalist for simply asking him a question. You can see that right after this break. My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine, exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. We're on the march, the Empire's on the run, and the InfoWars Army is standing strong. Wake up your family, friends, and neighbors and break the matrix at InfoWarsStore.com. Learn the truth and spread the message of liberty with the world's most comprehensive collection of books and documentary films. Maintain a healthy metabolism and energize your body to perform at peak health with Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Protect your family and be prepared with survival foods and emergency preparedness kits. And now you can drink safe water with your own ProPure water filtration system, which removes fluoride and other harmful chemicals from your family's water supply. Save 10% with the promo code WATER. So join the revolution, InfoWarsStore.com. And just finally, before uh, we let you go, since we have you here, we haven't had a chance to kind of talk about some I'm of the... I'm not talking about anything that's off topic. This is only about the president. Well, what about... I all right, so Congressman Michael Grimm does not want to talk about uh, some of the, the allegations uh, concerning his campaign finances. We wanted to get him on camera on that, but he, uh, as you saw, refused to talk about that. Back to you. That was Michael Grimm, a politician from New York, threatening a journalist because he dared ask him a question. This is the mental illness of some of these politicians. We hear at the Bilderberg meetings, you can't even look these people in the eye. If you're a waiter, if you're the valet, if you dare look at them, they'll like, ah, what's wrong with you? They don't want to give you a tip. And it just continues here. And we're tired of this media intimidation because you guys have seen our videos. We don't really like to back down from the authorities. Well, I'll say, sir, like, why do you want me to turn my camera off? Or, sir, why can't I film that? Or whatever it may be. But in New York, they obviously uh, intimidated this young man, the gentleman, 
uh, I shouldn't call him a gentleman, Michael Grimm, threatened to throw him over the banister and so forth. So we wanted to get the opinion of a real New Yorker, Gerald Salente. He has many things to say about this. He said these comments on the Alex Jones radio show. Did you see that congressman from Staten Island that's making the news, Representative Michael Grimm? Perfect name for the cat. How he threatened that little reporter from New York One to throw him over the balcony and cut him in half. You know who Michael Grimm is? It's perfect. A former FBI agent. Go to Wikipedia, look it up. This guy, New Yorker, New Yorker magazine, did a story on him about how he went into a nightclub and threatened this this, this uh, guy and said that they'll never find him again, or words to that effect, and then came back twice and one time pulled a gun and played the, on the FBI. Another guy, another guy, these tough guys, you know, that threaten little boys. And by the way, if you or I were to send a letter to Grimm or Pelosi or Diane, not to Feinstein, and threaten to throw them off a balcony and cut them in half, those FBI guys, they'd be there, man, having us face down, beating the crap out of us. Well, that's what I was about to say is jail. Cuomo says if you don't agree with him politically, get out of the state. Uh, they're threatening to kill people. But this is a direct threat. No, this no, I agree. They're gangsters. Threat. They're gangsters. And, 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 and what's happening to him now after he did this? Nothing. He, they apologize. Then everything will be okay. Again, the word justice is J-U-S-T-U-S. -U Just us. No Wall Street heads go. Again, if you or I sent a threatening letter to a congressman, we would, they would lock us up. Well, that's it for the InfoWars Nightly News, but stay tuned because soon we'll be giving you those broadcasts from New York, New Jersey, giving those Super Bowl updates. And not just talking about the Super Bowl because that's not the real topic. The real topic is the overall police state infecting our country where you have to get padded down to even go see a football game to where they have the boats and the cameras and the drones and all this other stuff. They're saying you can't even bring in your own bag. You have to use a little plastic baggy, a Ziploc bag, or buy your NFL bag. You know, of course they'll sell you a bag because it's safe, because it's for the children. So we'll bring you all those reports coming up at the end of this week. But in the meantime, this is it for the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at InfoWars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at InfoWars.com slash show.